much different did this NFC Championship game feel for you than it did last year? Um, I mean, pretty. There's differences and similarities. I think for us, you know, just continuing to have the mindset of one day at a time, one practice at a time, and then going out and executing no matter what the situation is. Um, obviously, our sense of urgency is extremely high, and um, love the way we've been practicing all week, and excited to go. Personally, for you, you were here for a half a season last year, and this year you've been here the entire season. Does it give you a different perspective on it at all? I think just having familiarity with the with the guys and being there all off season and going through training camp with them, going through um, the highs and lows with everybody, uh, definitely more comfortable and uh, just with more time and more experience with all these guys, um, definitely means a lot. What kind of boost is it to get Debo even just on a limited basis back in practice today? Oh, that's awesome. Anytime he's out there, uh, he brings a extra set of juice that um, is hard to hard to mimic without him. Learned about George being his teammate for the last year plus. Uh, George is unbelievable, man. He's uh, he's someone that's um, you know I think the best tight end in the league and uh, somebody who uh, does everything right, whether it's blocking, receiving, blocking downfield. His leadership's great, and he's tough as ever. Um, you know he play through anything and find any way to get on that field with his guys, and so. Um, I have the utmost amount of respect for him, and i uh, really glad that I, got a, I get to be his teammate. Christian, in, you in this last game, you had 17 carries against Green Bay. In an ideal world, how many times would you like to tote the rock? As many as it takes to win. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I've had games where you have 10 carries, have games where it's 30. Uh, for me, it's not about the touches. It's about making them count. And, uh, you know, some games, it, you know, carries a lot of times are dependent on, one, how well we're running the ball, and, two, uh, what the defense is giving you. And so for me, I just try to make every single touch count, no matter if it's a carry or pass or if I'm blocking, if whatever it may be, just you just got to execute on that play. What do you see from the Lions front seven? Statistically, they're real good against the run. Say, sorry, say that one more time. What do you see from the Lions front seven? Statistically, they're good against the run. Yeah, they, I mean, they're extremely tough. You know, they play hard. They fly around. They're physical. Um, I think they give you a lot of different looks. They pressure a lot. So um, I think a lot of guys get confused sometimes and, um, you know, where they're coming from. Um, but overall, you know, it's a great defense that plays really hard, and it's no shock they're here. What is game? Has drawn some comparison to yours? Just what do you see out of him in, in his rookie well, year? Sorry, what was that first part? Jameer Gibbs, uh, his game has drawn some, some comparisons to yours. Do you have any advice for a, a young running back in this league? Yeah, I mean, just keep doing what he's doing. Uh, he's a stud, man. Been a lot of fun to watch. I remember watching him in college. Uh, just an exciting player. Um, and somebody who's going to be great for a really long time. So both those backs there uh, have a lot, of, a lot of respect for and the, the way they run. Um, you know, they're fast, physical. They can break tackles, catch the ball, whatever it is. So uh, I just have a lot of respect for them. What have you learned running behind Trent Williams? And from your view, how does a man that size move the way he does? Uh, I've learned it's really fun to, to run behind Trent and I have no idea how somebody that big moves like that. Um, I've yet to figure that out. Whoa. Sorry. People joke that the NFL MVP award is a quarterback award. So what is it? What do you think about a running back being a finalist this year? Yeah, I mean, I, you know, all the awards are great. I think, uh, you know, when when you're this far <laughs> into the season and you're playing for an NFC championship, it's hard to think about anything else but that. Um, obviously, those things are cool, but um, I don't think they they touch how how meaningful it would be to, to win this game and have an opportunity to go on to the next. Um, but it's definitely an honor to be mentioned in that conversation. Uh, definitely an honor. Christian, does it feel like any other week or is there a little extra juice going on? Uh, you know, I think you prepare just like any other week. You know, I don't think you do more, um, but I think the natural emotion of this week um, has everybody pretty amped up, ready to go. Emotions from from last year's NFC Championship game into this one, knowing just how you guys just really didn't get a shot. And, um, did that fuel you and stick with you through this year, just to get back here for that? Uh, I think you know last year was last year. This year is this year. I think we're exactly where we want to be, um, with a chance to to win an NFC Championship at home. And um, you know, I don't think we're thinking about last year at all. We're just focused on this week and doing everything possible to go out there and win. Christian, 
There was a great photo of you and Tara Vanderveer recently, I think earlier this week. Uh, what was it like to meet up with her? Is she a big football fan? Is she giving you tips out there? <laughs> yeah, she's a legend, obviously, just uh, became the winningest coach and uh, being a Stanford coach. So I would watch her when I was back in college and watch her team. So um, when I saw her, she had the jacket on with all the all the wins. So I had to go up and say hi. And, uh, she was awesome. George Kittle talks about that, kind of the interchangeability of, of you and Debo and how it affects defenses. I, I know you're maybe not seeing it in real time. When you watch the tape, how much does it make a difference when you have are both on the field together in terms of the way, even if you're not getting the ball, how it might influence the defense? Yeah, I think it, it influences the defense a lot. I think, um, you know, in order to do that, you kind of have to have the right mentality. And I look at the way that guys like him and Ayuk and Juwan and George and Juice, how everybody kind of commits to doing their job, whether they have the ball or not. Uh, so in order for it to really have an effect, you have to do things right when you have the ball and when you don't have the ball. And uh, he's a good example of that. And um, even if he's just in motion, getting people to put their eyes on him, because uh, you never know, you know, when he has the ball in his hands, it's pretty scary. Many camp, it seemed like you were on a totally different speed than almost everybody else on the field. Is this team kind of like on a mission based on the way last year ended to, to finish the deal and make that take those two extra steps? Yeah, definitely. I think, uh, I think you know, going back to the first day of OTAs, um, you know, we definitely had a salty taste in our mouth from last year. And uh, we knew how, how good this team can be. And teams like this don't always come around. So to have it and to have this opportunity and to be in the position we're in, um, the sense of urgency is definitely high. Both you and Kyle expressed that Detroit causes confusion up front. How do they do that? What do they do to cause confusion? <clears throat> I just think. Uh, you know, the different stunts and blitzes that they do, and uh, they bring a lot of different people, um, and they do it fast. So uh, that would probably be the biggest thing.